everyone, Carla with eTrailer.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install and telling you a little bit more about these Koenig self-tensioning tire chains on our 2020 Range Rover Velar. Today we're working with a 255-55 R19 tire. It's going to be right on your sidewall of your tire, so go ahead and check that and then also use our fit guide to find out which exact size is right for you. All right, so if you're trying to decide which chains to get, these may look very, very similar to the Koenig standard chains, but there are a couple things that set them apart and make them a better chain for you. Uh, for starters, the self-tensioning mechanism makes it to where you have one less step to worry about. These, once you clip them on and connect them, you can just drive off and then they're going to automatically apply the tension and retain that tension for you. Whereas with other chains, like the standard ones, you would have to drive and then come back and check it again and, re and reapply the tensioning cord too. So these are already integrated. It's going to be automatic for you. Another thing is these are very low clearance. So you can see back here, we've got very limited space between our components, like brake lines and things like that behind here. We've got a pretty decent amount wheel well clearance, but behind there, these are class S compatible and they're only gonna require less than a half an inch of clearance to be able to clear everything on your vehicle. They are super easy to use and I would definitely recommend them. All right, so as we take a closer look, I wanna show you the D-links right here, our double-sided D-links. So that's going to provide extra grip on that snow and we have our icebreakers right here in the center of our tread and that's just going to give us the extra traction we need to break that ice and continue our journey through without having to worry about getting stuck or anything like that these are constructed of a manganese nickel alloy so they are going to be uh, resistant to rust and corrosion and right down here you can see that this is a different color and that's because this right here is powder coated gray so it's not bare metal that you're potentially having to touch it's going to be a lot less cold you don't have to freeze your fingers off when you are installing these chains right down here we have everything color coded red that we need to make our connection so right there you may be wondering what this little clip is right here we don't really have to worry about it with our tires on our range rover velar today because these two connections right here are going to be pretty tight there are some smaller tires that may require you to clip to the second or third chain in which case the extra excess you can clip right here but we don't have to really worry about it on this one as we move down our main main feature right here is going to be our self-tensioning uh, bungee cable which has the teeth right here that basically ratchet everything down as you're driving so you don't have to worry about them coming loose or anything like that. Notice here how our chains have a diamond pattern and that's going to be this shape right here opening up. Traditional ladder chains just go this direction where you have this center section right here along with the icebreakers but it just gives you that extra traction in the center so that not only you have extra grip when you're going, accelerating and making stops, but also when you are making those turns, you have extra grip right in the center of your tread. All right, so this is the nice case that your chains will come in. You've got your instructions on the back that are gonna be on there for you no matter what. Um, this right here can help you set it under your seat and make sure that it doesn't slide or anything. You can just stick to the floor of your vehicle or your trunk. And as we open this up, you can see that it does come with another set of instructions. It's uh, plastic coated, so you don't have to worry about it getting wet. And inside here, we do have some nylon bumpers. So in cases where you wanna protect your rim, if you have chain that's closer to the rim, we don't really have that going on here, but this is included for you. If you wanna go ahead and install them, they just clip together in between the chains to protect your rim from getting scratched. In here, we also have a pair of pretty basic gloves um, to, so you don't have to get your hands wet or dirty. And a couple extra optional uh, clip and extra chains if you do ever need to repair them. Uh, but yeah, this is basically how they come. They come in a set of two. 
and they do have a 30 mile an hour rating so you want to make sure you're taking it slow out there don't exceed that 30 mile an hour rating uh but that should do it yeah well, now that i've told you pretty much anything you need to know and everything you need to know about these chains i'll go ahead and show you how to get them installed all right so when we first get them out of our box they are going to be coiled like this so you just want to open them up and make sure that these are not tangled or anything feed them through now you want to open them up right here and what we're actually going to do is set them to where the yellow is going to be on the right side because that's the part we're going to be feeding through and just make sure that the Koenig logo is facing down and our hooks right here are also facing the ground. Now I do recommend you go ahead and do this and get some practice going to install them before you actually need to so you're not out there trying to figure it out in the cold weather. So with the chains open, we'll go ahead and start the process by feeding this through the one side over here. Right, now that we've fed them through, we can go ahead and make our connection up top. Grabbing these two ends, we'll come behind. Okay, we can go ahead and make our connection right here by pulling them apart and then draping the rest of the chain over the tread of the tire. All right, so you want to make sure that you don't have too much hanging off one side so they're evenly spaced and that you want to try to get these icebreakers in the center right here. First thing we want to do to make sure they don't fall back is attach our red points of connection together up top and then we can go ahead and reposition the chain a little bit better. Like I said these you want to try to get in the center of the tread all the way around just like this. Our next step we're going to want to open this by pressing this back and then attaching our cable right here and as you can hear it clicking it's tensioning it so we want to pull it and then these are color coded so you can see it's a different color red than this what we want to do is pull on this hook and make the connection right here and what's great about these is that the, these are 100% self-tensioning. What that means is as you're driving, these are going to go ahead and readjust and tighten even harder on your tire, which is a plus and something that is not really offered in other types of chains like the standard Koenig chains where after making that connection, you do have to drive a little bit and then readjust. So this is all done for you. So the installation takes that much less time for you. All right, so that's pretty much all you need to know and how to install and how do these work. These are the Koenig Premium Self-Tensioning Tire Chains on our 2020 Range Rover Velar.